Hi, this is Canadian folk singer Jesse Ferguson, and I'm bringing you today the first in a series of tutorials on how to play common popular folk songs, especially in the Celtic tradition, but also in the North American traditions. Uh, so today's video is on Whiskey in the Jar, maybe the most popular uh, Irish song from the Irish folk tradition. And I'm going to show you how to play it today on mandolin on this video, but I'll also be posting one on guitar. And as you'll notice, if you play both instruments, or if you look at both videos, the way I play it is the same, the chords are the same, uh, the strumming pattern is the same, but obviously uh, how you fret the notes will be different, the configuration for the chord, because the, the tuning is different on a mandolin and a guitar, and a guitar has uh, six strings, whereas a mandolin has four series of strings. So, hopefully you enjoy it. Feel free to request any other tutorials uh, for songs that I have currently on my channel. Uh, I ask that they be public domain songs, that is traditional, so I won't be posting tutorials to anything that's copyrighted. So first of all, tune your instrument, use a tuner. Um, once you've got that your instrument tuned up and you're ready to strum, then I'll teach you the basic strum pattern, which is a very common one for folk songs, as well as for country music and a lot of other styles of music. Simple music, easy to play. Uh, so this strum pattern, I speed up or slow down for many different songs. So once you learn it, uh, you'll be in good shape to pick up many of the other songs in the tutorial series that I, I post. So, it starts off by hitting the bass note of the chord. Now, that's basically uh, a note that will be bassier. Obviously, it's a lower tone. It's closer to your face if you're playing guitar or mandolin. So this is C, C major on the mandolin. There are different ways to voice that chord, but this is the simplest way I've found. Two fingers. I won't put chord charts, uh, go through how to play these chords. I mean, you can get a, a chord chart by Googling mandolin chords. Um, what I've done is uh, I look up a chart that has uh, two finger chords, because many chords on the mandolin can be played with two fingers. Very easy. So this is C major, so whenever I hit the G string open, that's the bass note for this chord. So you'll notice I hit the bass note first, then downstroke on the remaining strings, then up. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. So you speed it up and you get this. post the chords and the lyrics to this song in the description below. But for now, that's the strum pattern you have to master. Uh, un undoubtedly, you could do different strum patterns for this exact same song, same chords, and it would probably sound just as well, but this is just how I do it. So once you learn this strum pattern, though, you can apply it to many different songs. You can apply it to songs that are even slower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So bass note, down, up, um, now I'm speeding it up a bit there, down, down, it's the same thing on a guitar if you're playing gu a guitar. So the bass note for the A minor chord would be again on the G string, but here you're fretting it on the second fret because you're playing the A minor chord, but the pattern stays the same. So the chords for this song are C, A minor, F, back to C. And I believe you do that two rounds for the for the verse. Then you go to the refrain or the chorus, which is G. C, G, C. So I'm just letting them ring there to show you the chords. But uh, so let's let's run through it uh, a verse and a chorus together. So remember that that strumming pattern. As I was going over the 
Far famed Cary Mountains I met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting I first produced my pistol and then produced me rapier saying Stand and deliver for I am your bold receiver Musha ring dumma two dumma ta Whack for the daddy oh Whack for the daddy oh There's whiskey in the jar between the, the verses, I just run through the C, A minor, F, back to C again. And if you have another musician, uh, that musician could be putting a fill over that. So then you just repeat that pattern over and over again through the whole song. And again, I'll post the lyrics down below. So again, C, A minor, F, or the chorus, G, C, F, with C, G, C. Uh, so if you want to run through the whole song and practice it along with me, you can click on the link to my full-length video on how to play this on mandolin. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, again, this is just one way to do it. I'm sure there are other tutorials on YouTube that you could check out if you don't like the way I do it, and so on. Again, if you want to learn how to play it on guitar, check out the other video that I'll post shortly. Uh, thanks for listening. You can check out my website if you're interested, and please like and subscribe this video if you'd like to see more.